guys, it's Lilypad. The holidays are coming up, so I thought I would make a gingerbread house for you guys. And um, here I have all the ingredients laid out for the gingerbread house. I got all of these ingredients in a kit that I got from Michael's. This is what it looks like. The things you are going to need for this gingerbread house is obviously your gingerbread slabs. It also comes with a little board to put your gingerbread house on. You're gonna need a piping bag filled with royal icing, which also comes with the kit. Fondant, candies, which include these little um, colorful balls of candy. There are these um, flat pastel colored circles of candies and these little mini gumdrops. So now, let's get assembling our gingerbread house. So, the first step to assembling your gingerbread house, you're going to need the point, one of the pointed ends of your house, you want one of the longer, shorter pieces for the wall of the house, you want the board and the icing in the bag. So the first thing you want to do is take the bottom of your pointed end and pipe a very thick line of icing on the bottom of it. This is so that the piece will stick to the board and you want to make sure you don't go thin on the icing because this is going to be very important so that it can stick down onto the board. And if you want, you can also take a glass and hold up the piece. Then you want to take your shorter piece and again pipe a very thick line on the bottom. Again, this is very important so that it will stick to the board. And then once you've piped that line, and make sure if you need to, like I've done right here, you, you can pipe more on so that it's just nice and thick. And then because it's going to attach to the other piece you put on your board, you want to pipe another thick line on the side so that it will stick onto your pointed piece. And then you're just going to take it and press it right into the piece that you've already put on your board. Now that you have two of your wall pieces together, you want to take your other pointed piece and pipe a thick line on the bottom of that and then another thick line on the side. Then you're going to press it in to the side wall and then you want to take your other side wall, pipe a thick line on the bottom, one on the side, and then because we're going to attach it to both pointed pieces, a thick line on the other side. And if, you're, if your gingerbread house collapses, don't worry. Just fix it in, press it in, all the pieces together, and then you want to let your house set for an hour. So after you let your house set for an hour, you want to pipe lines on the slanted edges of the pointed roof pieces pointed side or back or front of the house pieces and then also on the other on the top of the side walls then you want to take one of your large square pieces and press it in and maybe hold it there for a few seconds and then turn your house around and then pipe the lines in the same way on the other side and once you have the second part of the roof on you want to let your house set for two hours. Then, once you have all of your house together and set, you are going to take your piping bag and pipe the outline of a door on one of the fronts and fill it in. Then you are going to take some of the little hard round balls and make an outline and then add one for the doorknob. Now, to make your window, you're going to pipe the outline of the window frame and then make the lines of the window panes inside. Then to decorate it, you're going to take two red gumdrops and put them on the one side of the window and take two other gumdrops and put them on the other side of the window. Then you're going to take your icing and above the window, pipe a dot of icing and this will act as glue for an orange gumdrop that will go above the window. Then you want to pipe two smaller dots 
on either side of the gumdrop, and these will act as glue for two of the little round candies we used for the door, which you can stick on either side of the gumdrop. And that is your window. For the front, you want to take one of your red circle flat hard pastel candies and type white swirls to look like a peppermint. Then you want to take it and pipe a little royal icing on the back to act as glue and then place it right on the front of your gingerbread house as a little decoration. Then on the front of your house you're going to take your royal icing and along the slanted edges of the front pipe dots along the edges. Then you're going to take the little hard balls from the door that you used and put them on each of the dots. For the side, you want six of those little hard pastel candies that are round and you want to pipe them in the same technique that you did for the peppermint on the front of the house. These are going to be lollipop flowers on the side of your house and these six will accommodate for both sides of the house, so three on each side. Then, uh, you want to just do the same thing like you did on the front. You want to pipe a little on the back, and then use at it as an adhesive for the side of the house. You want three flowers on each side of the house, so make sure you give them room. And then, after you put it on, you want to pipe a stem, and then do them, do all three on the side, and then do three on the other side of the house. For the back of the house, I did more peppermints, piped ivy, attached them to the ivy, and then made a door in the corner for a back door. For the roof, you want to take your royal icing and in the corner pipe a dot and then drag it up, and then pipe a dot next to it and drag it up. And then you'd want to do these in rows on the roof, and then for the next row, you want to put it on the part, but start the dots on the parts where you dragged up. Now that I have one side, I'm going to do the other. Both sides of your roof are covered. Then you are going to pipe a line down the center where the panels meet. And then take a gumdrop and place it on the end. And then take one of the little hard candies that you used on the door and put it on top. And then you want to alternate all the way down the center where the two panels meet. Match up the seams on the sides to just make sure they're nice and covered. On each corner you're going to pipe a little squiggly line on the sides on all four corners. Then to cover up the seam in the front, you're going to squeeze a dot and then keep applying pressure and pull down and these will be like icicles on the sides that are coming down and you want them to keep applying pressure as you're piping down because then they'll make the icicles nice and long and then when you feel like they're long enough you just pull away.